Ciprino. My name is Adam. Today we're going to invite to this artist. Her name is Poison Ivy. Um, quit my dome. Ooh, quit my dome? No, out my dome. I was like, where the fuck you say quit? <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm blind. I was Damn, really... I'm blind, shit. Okay, something about something I do know about this this, this artist right here. I saw an interview. Because I was draw I love, you know, um, new artists. I love female new artists. If it's R&B, hip-hop. I just love it. I love where they, to see where they come from, where they're inspired. Like all this, I, th I just find find the artistry and what they created, where they come from, and they build their own. Yeah, it's so amazing because at the end of the day, it's art what they want to do. You know, so this artist right here comes from um, this is her daddy right here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a big fan of him, but he's big, he's on his thing, you know, is whatever. But something about him, you know, her in her interview, she was speaking about um. um this man has a kind of baby mama so for her she made it made was happy that that um he she had siblings you know it's me then it's ty tootie but I, but we all got different mamas right. tori then it's ray ray we got the same mama then Lear got a different mama then mj got the same mama layla got a different mama so it was like three four kids with other women why I been with my mama in the mix. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And it was like I didn't care that it was with other women. It's and it and it's bad because I you know, like sometimes I see my mama like hurt or you know, but I was so stuck on that I had a sibling. Mm. Like it was it was just beautiful how expressive she was being. And I think that she, you know, her sexuality it's I don't know what's sexuality, but I think that they were speaking about that she might be a lesbian. But the dad over here, because there was an interview about him speaking about how she's grown and she can do whatever she wants, but that's not accepted in his home. You you pretty much disowning him. I can't. No, hell no. I'm going to love him to death, but I won't support marriage. Just wait on it. I'm not giving my child away to another woman. So You, you don't know, I would love her to death, you know. But I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start that. I, you know, a, 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 as me, I have the right to do that. As parents, we have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like, how dare you even say some shit like that when you showed your daughter, I think she's the oldest from whatever kids he has, how you don't respect women, how you just fucking like have bitches after bitches after bitches having kids. Like, how are your, how is your situation better than hers? You know what I'm saying? And she seems to love her daddy and respect her daddy so much. Say if I ain't talking to daddy for a little while. Right. You know what I'm saying, but I know Tootie there, so you know I'm I call Tootie, you know, hit him up, and Daddy probably think I ain't checking on him, but I'm asking Tootie, like pop straight, like what's up with pops? What he been doing? He prides himself to be that kind of man, like oh, what I say goes in my home. It's like relax because what you done is not good. When I saw the interview of him, you know, I, I saw her interview, and then I went to him, and I was like, how dare he even? publicly say that like how is that making her feel like that that's gonna make her feel like okay daddy you love me and you're gonna embrace me but you no, don't fully accept me but here i am accepting you as a daughter how you played my mom how you had kids when you were with my mom you didn't fully respect women and here she is probably she's a lesbian because she feels like men are dogs you know what i'm saying so i was so dry and i was like let me support my girl man i've never really heard of her i just saw interviews and i'm like you know what here she is to the point of embracing her daddy that much, she wants to do rap. Damn, that was fucking deep. Yeah, I just, I hate that because as a gay man, I have parents that don't fully, they love me. It's almost what, how he is. They love me, they see me, but they don't fully, fully, they will, to the, and the end of the day, they will never fully be proud of me and I will always be somebody they're ashamed of. You know what I'm saying? And I just fully have to accept that. I live my life, you know, um, knowing that my parents are somebody that, that I have to be hidden, you know? They hate when family ask about me because they don't want to be saying, oh, Trino, if they say, if Trino doesn't have a wife, right away they get uncomfortable. Like, that's a topic that they just always want to, they want to dodge, you know what I mean? So, I, oh, my heart goes to people like her, man. The daddy, like, how did the daddy do that shit? You don't say that shit. You don't publicly say that shit. You know, you're, you're, you, like, I have so many issues with people because where it comes from. My parents don't fully accept me. What well, makes me feel like people are going to fully accept me too, you know what I mean? He's fucking up his baby, like, and his, he's, Come on, come on, motherfucker! Like, what the fuck? Let me, let me, let me, let's jump into music, right? I mean, like, yeah, I'm getting deep and shit. You just fucking kill this whole vibe. Right? No, the vibe's about <laughs> to start because that's real life, right? And look at her thriving. 
And I'm rooting for you, Poison, Poison Ivy. Ivy. You're my girl. Hurt, so let's check I got it out. you. And I, I know you love your daddy. And you know, but I got you, girl. I got you, girl. All right. Poison Ivy. <laughs> She's a cutie. It don't matter which one you doing first. Just play one. Play one. Say no more. Hey, I'm a dude. And then you know me, I'm fucking all about the beat, and that shit was fucking. I love that boom, 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 boom. Like that was lit. Like she's lit. She has something. I think that right now with the whole female rappers, she got a sound that's different. Fuck yeah. And she's only gonna grow. Coming from that, coming from a rapper daddy, like how old is she? She's definitely in her twenties. I don't know. Yeah, she look young. I love it. You know, I I just don't think her. I saw I saw the the, the interview, and then I saw the daddy. And, I know some family shit, but like they're put they're putting it out there. Mm -hmm. And as a father, as a son, as a gay man, it touched me on different levels. It touched me as a son. I mean, as a as a father, as like accept your baby full out, accept her because you want to be accepted. Like him, he has his own shit, and, I, and that's what I'm talking about. Like people just want to choose like like how he treated women and how he just jump to women like that's not like because if he wants to go based off the bible like the bible says there's no sin greater than the other so he's just as guilty as she is you know i just feel like and if you and that's exactly how you feel you don't voice it out yeah. like that you supposed to take care of your baby till the end and that's not taking care of it you can tell that like i said you can tell that she is loving her daddy and she will fuck with him to the end but the older you get you don't know it until you get older how somebody that you love and you admire so much not fully loving you and accepting your like when she gets in a relationship and if she is with the woman she's always gonna have that and she's not she's not even gonna embrace her own relationship she's almost gonna it's it's gonna fuck shit up you know when you don't have the blessings of somebody that you honor yeah. it messes things up so fuck all that shit right let's just jump into her music to me it just touches me i'm rooting for her i want the best for her is this your first time ever hearing of her or hearing her yeah like I, you know i to me man, like i don't know how she long she's been sick. doing it i love it man i love it i'm rooting and for to her. me i love how she just was like the girl up the street you mean like she was just fucking dressed she's a girl, like, you already, just having fun yeah. you mean and not giving a fuck was yeah. it about an image it was just about her fucking doing what she and like i don't give a damn mean? what her sexuality or whatever yeah. it is like but to me it's what they're putting out there right i don't i never heard her really say that but they were interviewing her daddy and she, they brought that up and you know, to me, I get when I see artists, I'm just rooting for them, you know, for the music and shit. But when I when you know more of them and there's a connection for me, I'm connected 
with her. I'm rooting for her, and I guess that's the personal stuff like that's going on with her and her family. But you know, family shit happens, and they'll figure it out. But her music right here, she keeps this lit ass fucking vibe, man. I love it. That's that's that it. for sure. And she's such a cutie. Play. She looks so young, man. I just love when I see female rappers really want to voice them. Because to me, it's not just like a lesbian thing that want to be all boys and shit. It's a lot of women that don't embrace that. There's a lot of females. Like Lauren Hill is a perfect example. It don't matter what her, you know, she's never really gives sex. It was, she was a poetic, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She gave you poetry and shit, you know, spoken words with rap and hip hop. I feel like that's what, I mean, you can't compare it, but I'm just saying Lauren Hill was never known to be, I mean, I wouldn't give a fuck. Like puppy, you almost threw up. You <laughs> <laughs> burnt all the wool, sweetie pie. <laughs> don't don't throw up over here. Yeah, but I love it, man. I love like you know a lot of female rappers and um, we love it. But you know they be doing the whole pussy and, and all yeah, that but shit. She was a whole fuck. Did you hear her fucking talk about sex one time? No, she just said she made her fucking mommy suck her teeth. Oh, okay. yeah, that was it. <laughs> now I was lit, you know. I love it, man. I can't wait to bump this shit because we all about to pull up to Vegas. And you know Posey and I is going to be on a fucking Spotify. Yeah. You already know. And we're going to vlog it too. So if you guys want to check that out, go to our vlog yeah, channel. Yeah, Three No Eggs. Adam Vlog. Period. Well, you guys have a beautiful day, man. And sorry if I got super deep, man. You know, I'm not over here digging at people's business. It's what they put out there. Yeah. I'm vibing to her music and it's connected to that. To me, uh, as like I said, as a father, as a son, as a gay man, I feel this like there's certain things that just need to be not being talked about, you know what I mean? I know that he's a rapper, when they speak about his daughter, it should be like, shut it down in a graceful way. Why voice it? And basically say out in the open, I don't agree with her relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that it's like, you're fucking up your daughter, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's not gonna Especially be good for her Especially the world's already like, the world's coming for her. Like, why Why does her own family got her, you know? This yeah, there's just certain things. But look at her right now. She's driving. Don't give a fuck. That's something that I admire that she could be like, you know what? Let me go ahead and nah. She don't give a fuck. She is grown and she's gonna make her daddy change her damn mind. Yeah. Because you know, some people are just close minded as fuck, man. And they think that their sin is better or less. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys have a beautiful day, bye. Hey, I call you.